Hey, what's up guys? Need to talk quick cause we got a big storm blowing in right now. Uh, I was wanting to talk about a couple edible plants that you can find in your yard. I know I've covered a lot of, a few various plant species, berries, stuff like that, but I know a lot of my viewers, they're not in such a rich green area like I am. But there are a couple of common ones you can find around your yard that are edible and very nutritious. One is the clover, and that covers white clover, red clover, crimson clover. Now I wanna, look at this wind here. Now I wanna cover something real quick about clover, and not a lot of people mention it, cause I've did a little research on clover myself. But clover, when, when the plant is bitten or torn, or you cut it with your grass, it produces cyanide as a deterrent. And they think that happened because of hybridization like between two species um, because it'll carry the genetics of both plants and they're pretty certain that a couple of species of clover hybridized some some time ago and it gave it this ability you know when this happens in nature you rarely get an adaptation like that that can uh, result in something good for the plant you know a defense mechanism like that that's that's brilliant right so oh yeah we better hurry uh anyways clover is rich in vitamin a c there's niacin tons of good stuff in clover now you can eat it you can absolutely eat it you can pick enough good handful a day every other day tear off the flower parts put it on a salad uh, make a tea out of it and it'd be very beneficial all right but it's being that the fda and their and uh, independent agencies haven't done enough studies to really understand it it's been used for thousands of years and uh oh yeah it's starting to lightning pretty good we might need to finish this video here after the storm if we don't lose power. All right, so clover, very nutritious. It's good what I would call a trail snack, right? Trail snacks are always good. Reach down, get you a handful. I have crimson clover, as you can see. Let me, let me bring you up here. You can see right here. This is crimson clover. Just a little guy. It was in a seed mix I actually planted for my deer. Had some brassicas in it, some ryegrass, and that pretty clover. Now I have white clover around here, and it's you can find it about anywhere. Um, you just got to you just got to look around, forage. All right, and the second one. I was wanting to talk about is the broadleaf and the narrow leaf plantain. Now I have a bunch of these. I don't really have any behind the house right here. There's also a plantain species that's kind of hairy. It's got little hairs all over it. Um, I haven't did much research into those yet, but I'm pretty sure you would you would probably find that they are edible. Uh, you would kind of cook a plantain sort of like you would uh, a spinach or any other type of green. I've seen people put vinegar, like a vinegar mix on them. Uh, you, can, you can eat them raw, but the older leaves, the more bigger, leather, more leathery leaves, they are uh, a little bitter and tough. But the younger shoots on it, those are the ones you want to eat if you eat them raw. Oh, hell yeah. We're going to get some rain. I thought I was going to have to go collect water today. Well, guys, I'm going to finish this video. I'll come out and find some broadleaf plantain for you. One little thing before I go. Look at these big, beautiful sugar baby watermelons. Let's go, Lope. Come on. It's fucking pouring. All right, y'all. I'll catch you on the flip-flop.